Hi everybody, I'm Jerry Sveam, and along with Don Stottleman, I'm the co-chair of our annual uh, Bloyd Art Center photo show. And this is a juried show. Uh, this year we had well over a hundred pieces entered. The judges accepted about 80% of them, so there was 20% of the pieces entered were rejected. And uh, we have a, a terrific scoring system. Um, we receive all the artwork. We scan it, make sure there's no signatures or watermarks, and then we send out the images to each of the three judges. And this year we have as our judges Jason Milkey and, um, and Cindy Bondren, and new this year back with us from before he used to do our art shows here, our photo shows, is Chris Quillen. And each of them have a, a score sheet with all the different images and they break it down into three categories. They have three columns. The first one being the technical aspects of the, of the image. This is where the manipulation and the photoshopping comes in. And then that's worth 20%, 20 points. And the big category is the creativity. And that's worth 50 points. And then the third category is the uh, composition. So each judge scores every piece and then uh, we take the three scores on every piece, put it together, and get the final scoring for who gets first, who gets second, who gets third, and so on, right from the points. Now, there's one other aspect to it, actually. It wasn't quite exactly just from the points, because when you look at all these images on a computer, when you see these actually framed, they can look greatly different. And so we bring the artists all together on, uh, on the weekend before the show, and they do the final judging. And if they're real close, uh, we, they argue over which ones they want, in first, second, and third, and they, uh, they all finally come to conclusion, and uh, it sometimes changes a little bit. Once you've seen them framed, they, they do look different. So they, they work really hard at doing this, and it's a laborious task, and we're really grateful for our great judges. I think with the pandemic this year, we were anticipating that we'd have a big drop off in the numbers of entered pieces. But I think with people being home, maybe just the opposite happened. Uh, our numbers stood up really well. With, I said we had, we've had over a hundred some pieces, so we had a great selection. I think people had time to really work on their art. And uh, so we had a, a, a great number of pieces that were of great quality. and. Uh, and so we've got a terrific show. Hi, I'm Jeff McDonald. I'm from Whitewater, Wisconsin. Uh, I had three uh, pieces selected to be in the show this year and they're all black and whites. Uh, they're, um, I have sort of a style that uh, is uh, kind of a high contrast, very dark, but a lot of shadow detail. Uh, these three pieces are kind of indicative of. This is called uh, Point Betsy Shoreline, sort of a minimalism um, take on it. It's at Frankfort, Michigan is the location, the lighthouse uh, called Point Betsy. So one here is uh, Monument Valley, Tolievache uh, with Totem. Um, it's in the back country at uh, Monument Valley and you have to hire an Navajo guide to get there. And when we pulled in and, and met up with our guide, I told him, uh, get me to Yevashe and Totem over the sand dunes at late afternoon sun. I don't care if I get any other shot all day, that's what I want and he got me there. That's what I got. And the third one is called Spooky Woods. It's uh, taken in the Kettle Moraine uh, State Forest Southern Unit. Um, I was drawn to the S curve uh, leading in and uh, I just experimented until I got a look that I was pleased with. So that's Spooky Woods.
My name is Dave Williams. I'm a lifetime resident of Beloit, Wisconsin. My piece is called Impression. It was taken in southern Indiana, and the frame is made from wood from that same area. I'm Anita Wildermuth. I live in a farm out by Clinton, which, and I've been entering these shows for years. Last year I got one in, and it was an honorable mention, and this year, shocked, I got all three of my entries in. This one was taken in the farmer's market out at L.A. And I was just having a good time with the gal. We were playing and having a fun doing it and she started posing for me in different ways and I didn't see the word rage but it's mirage <laughs> <laughs> this one was taken in Destin Florida on the coast and the little bird just walked right up to me it was within three four feet of me and we just looked at each other and had a quiet time and the other one was taken out in Yellowstone, and I just love the colors, and it just looks very painterly, I think, to be more than photo like a photograph, although the trees are... Hi, my name's Ashley Phoenix, and I have three pieces in this show today. Uh, first one is Luminosity. And then I also have Entangled. And finally, Frozen in Time. All three of these pieces have in common what I like to photograph, which is small aspects of nature that a lot of people overlook. I spend a lot of my time outdoors, which is where I, my interest in photography really took root. Usually when I go out and uh, take photos, I don't go out with the intent of looking for anything in particular. I just try to see what the light and texture of things draw my eye.
Hello, my name is Jack Long. I'm honored to be part of the Beloit Art Center's annual photography show this year. After all we've endured through the past year, it's great to be able to share some beauty with my fellow artists and the Beloit Arts community. The two pieces I have entered are Teal Shimmer and Platinum Mist. My work is what I call liquid art photography. I build specialized fountain setups to eject water-based liquid into the air and capture it with high-speed flash photography. These pieces are from my whole series in which the main features are ejected from a void in a tank of flowing dark tinted water. I'd like to express my appreciation for the staff of Beloit Art Center and the jurists for including me in this show. Hello, my name is Mike Kobauer. I'm from Janesville. I've been taking pictures for 12, 14 years right now and retired a couple years ago and spending more time doing just that. I have three pictures that are entered into the photography show at White Art Center. Art Center and I just brought them down today. This one here was taken at a farmer's market up by Stoughton and called Ornamental Gourds. This other one here, I took just east of Baraboo during the summer, catching the windmill over top of the cornfield. It was just a dead end road going down. All that was left was a windmill on it. And the remainder one is northeast of, or northwest of Edgerton. And it was such a good farm scene with the barn quilt and the old John Deere running gear. That one is just Wisconsin winners, is what it's called. Hi, I'm Bernard Johnson. I'm from Madison, Wisconsin, and I do a lot of traveling in Southern Africa. And I took this photo in Chobe National Park in Botswana. And that's three lions drinking from a river. And then I took this photo of a young male leopard in Kruger National Park, South Africa. Hi, I'm Jen Pulaski. I'm a photographer here in Beloit, Wisconsin, and I have three pieces. Uh, the first one is spoons. The second piece I have is titled Strength. And this was taken with an LED hula hoop in a pitch black room with just a pop-up flash. Okay. 
my third piece is titled Light. This was photographed with a model and digitally enhanced to look more like a painting than a photograph. Hi, it's Bob Wildermuth. Uh, I decided I might as well get into it this year. And uh, it's always a lot of work trying to get these things together. But uh, this one here is uh, from the driveway at the other farm. And I was going up to the other farm and I thought, whoa, and that's what the name is too. Well, what, what is this? And uh, it's just some strange clouds that were on their way over. After that, I don't even remember whether we got much rain or anything out of it, but mm -hmm. I sure this did get the clouds. Now, this one here is a picture that's actually on the, the storm has gone through. This is the other side of the storm, but uh, the sun is just right, so it's really coming through. There's these little low clouds that were still there and all, but this was on the looking east. Hi, I'm Greg Peck, and as a first time entrant in this content, contest, I appreciate that the Boyd Arts Center selected all three of my photos for the exhibit. In shadow play, my wife and I were on a hot air balloon ride in 2009 near Wanakee, and as the chase crew pulled us back to earth with a tether, I noticed the shadow of the balloon spreading across the fields and I snapped a quick photo. In Hermit's Haven is near Pembine, near the UP. I've shot it three different Octobers, but this is the first time that someone had placed two pumpkins in one of the busted out windows, and I thought those pumpkins provided a nice splash of color. Grazing Before Greatness is in the Grand Tetons. These grand, majestic peaks just pop out out of the plains, and I thought the horses in the foreground provided a nice balance. Thank you.
Hi, uh, my name is Steve Edwards and I'm from Rockford, Illinois. And my first piece here is called Happy Hasta. Um, I just took it on a white foam core background and I did made a real shallow depth of field. The second piece is, is a, my Looking Glass series. Um, it's contemporary, abstract, and it's all done with glass and mirrors. This is my uh, third piece. It's called Winter Thaw that I captured at Belvedere Park in uh, Belvedere, Illinois, and it really, I really liked it because I got the ice just hanging on the rocks, and you just, just drag the shutter so a real, for a real slow shutter speed. Hi, I'm Judy Robson from Beloit. I submitted three pictures for the show today. Um, my first one I took in the field of dreams. There are, on Town Line Road, there were thousands and thousands of sunflowers. And at that time we had that smoky sun from the, the fires in California. So I waited in, waited for the sun, and I took that shot. Uh, the next shot, I took two pictures at Magnolia Bluff County Park. A uh, picture of my friend John gazing out at the beautiful view. Uh, the viewer is kind of drawn into where John is and seeing what he is seeing ahead of him. Uh, the other picture is um, a little whimsical. It's a, a picture of a photographer looking the wrong way, and I called this view uh, turn around. Enjoy my pictures. Hello, my name is Ryan Borelli and I'm a documentary photographer. All of these photos were taken in West Milwaukee during my graduate program at Marquette University. Uh, my process involves walking around, meeting people, taking pictures of people and things that I find interesting. And I consider it sort of a dance and the images are a documentation of that dance. And I hope for these images to be sort of lyrical suggestions of meaning um, and story but ultimately I want to sort of relinquish my own suggestions to the viewer to create their own narrative um, and ultimately I'm just kind of seeking to find drama within the ordinary so thank you
Cool. I'm John Mesley. I'm a photographer here in Rockford, Illinois. Been here for probably 50 years. And I also am a school psychologist and I love photography. And we have here the Sturgeon Bay North Channel Lighthouse, uh, which I was able to sneak away with my wife in October and take that picture. And because of the COVID, I spent the summer instead of in Madagascar, taking these American Goldfinch uh, series uh, from my house and they're in my backyard feeding on sunflower seeds. Um, this started out with 640 pictures, which was narrowed to 27, uh, which I then developed and have on my website, jfm-photography.com. We have a variety from the nestlings, the, the chicks, which hatch usually in uh, August and um, they're very acrobatic in uh, getting seeds and feeding the chicks which they regurgitate the seeds to do which you can see back here in the first shot that you saw. Hi my name is Ed Grab from Bullet, Wisconsin. My photo is of the celebration sculpture in Riverside Park in Bullet. I particularly enjoy night photography using ambient light. In this photo I used a tripod remote shutter release and a slow shutter speed. I wanted to capture the contrast of the shadows from the various curves and sharp edges of the sculpture cast by the uplighting and surrounding light sources without using artificial light. The smooth glass-like surface of the lagoon in the background creates yet another source of reflected light creating a very serene and captivating photo. This piece is by Brad Schmidt of Harvard, Illinois, and it's called The End of the Harvest, with the crops drying in the foreground and the spectacular color of the big tree in the middle and some outbuildings. It's, uh, it's got real shimmer to it, very nice. This piece is by uh, Robert Grant, and it's called Cat and Window. It's got great texture and the, the wood and the, the curling, rusty metal structure and nice composition. Good looking piece. This is a piece by uh, Beloit artist Tom Casper. And uh, I think this is one he got when he was uh, out west. And it's called The Raven. It's got great res. You can move Ray in on it, get the shimmer off the feathers. It's a gorgeous piece. This is a piece by uh, Joe Riberty Christofferson, and it's called Egret. And that's what we have a beautiful Egret. This is one that uh, she zeroed way in on it, and the res really held up. And then uh, I think it's kind of interesting to, to point out the frame and matting on this where she's picked up some of the grays in the picture and, and used it in the mat and was, I think in a very complimentary fashion. Pretty shot. This is a piece by uh, Rockford artist uh, John Nestle and it's uh, the Nestling uh, American Goldfinch. He's grown, zeroed in on the uh, sun sunflower, dying sunflower blossom and the little baby goldfinch. 
Pretty colors. Nice piece. This piece is by Rockford artist Paul Pinzeron, and uh, it's called Artemis and Aphrodite. And uh, this is one with a heavily digital uh, art. He's done a lot of computer manipulation to get these mirror image of the two figures that appear to be bronze sculptors. So, beautiful piece by Paul. Um, I wanted to uh, thank our judges for today. Uh, we have three judges. The first one is Cindy Vondren. I think years ago, maybe seven years ago, Cindy entered her very first photo show right here. And she didn't win first place, but she got an award and she was inspired. She has gone on now and she has won 21 international awards. Uh, she's uh, not just in the United States. She's been contacted to do some work now for the, a big flower group in, in London. And so uh, congratulations to, to Cindy on that. And thanks again for being one of the terrific judges that we have here with us today. The other judge is Chris Quillen. Chris Quillen uh, came to us to do a photo show years ago and he ran it for us for several years and then he's taken some time off and as we lost one of our judges, uh, Steve Bogdanis uh, bowed out this year and I went to ask Chris if he would help us out and he says, I'm in. So we're delighted to have it. Chris is uh, part of a group that call themselves Grumpy Old Photographers here in Beloit. And uh, for those of you that uh, uh, no, Chris, uh, you're, if you're here in Beloit, you probably are aware of him, and we're very thankful for him to come back and help us out again this year. And then, Jason, I want you to tell, tell everybody a little bit about your work. Hi, my name is Jay Milkey. I'm one of the judges on the panel for the jury competition, of a photo competition here at the Beloit Art Center uh, for 2021. I've been a judge now for several years. Normally, I'm a photographer. High Impact Creations is is my business. Uh, I, I tend to work a lot with more commercial type of things. Uh, I work in with universities for their events. I work with uh, I work with public figures to produce images for uh, campaigns, stuff like that. Uh, I work with I work with businesses to, pro to provide promotional material. Uh, I think one of my things I'm working on this year really is is a lot of rodeo promotional stuff, uh, more sporting orientated things. And, and definitely a lot more video lately uh, for 2021. So one of the things that, that I really enjoy about this contest is seeing how everybody approaches entering the contest, the diversity of the pieces that are submitted. There's traditional landscapes, there's the animals, there's, uh, there's uh, uh, I, some uh, flowers and, and stuff like that. But what I, what I like to see is when, when when we have artists that are entering pieces that tend to be a lot more creative, like they're, they're pushing the envelope a bit, looking for something that's different, that isn't necessarily just a landscape. Uh, and landscapes are great, and you know, all these things are great. I mean, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. And uh, you know, whatever somebody wants to bring, that's great. But you know, I remember you know, the, the phrase, the lens looks both ways. So when we see these images come in, we get to see a little bit about the person that's submitting them. So I thank everybody for submitting the images and really enjoyed going over the images and, uh, and, and just congratulations to everybody for being part of this show. Okay, I'm Cindy Mondrin and I do, I've been doing full-time fine art photography since 2013 after I graduated with, from college. And I've been doing, judging this competition now for about three years and uh, this year, I, what I've noticed as it's, progressed, as it's progressed is that we're getting more and more fine art where we're delving into artistic things like manipulation in Photoshop and things like that. It, back, it used to be more just straight photography and it had a lot of rules, but now we're starting to get into the more of the uh, fine art aspect of photography. And we had quite a few number of entries this year. They were very nice and, and um, we were pleased with the top picks that we chose and I think everybody's going to really enjoy them. We had um, some colorful pieces, we had black and white, a lot of really nice quality work and I'm just happy to continue on and, and I hope it's a good show for everyone. 
Yeah, there was one. Uh, there was one uh, that I can think about is some animal shots that I saw this year that um, you know might not be considered fine art, but the quality, the the um, the technical aspect of them was very good. Uh, one in particular that I that I comes to mind was some animals shot in Africa. And not everybody has the means to get to Africa. If we did, we'd all be, you know, we'd all take beautiful pictures. But that one, uh, you know, it, it, it needed to have something more than just a basic, when you're shooting just animals, if it's, it's, if it's just one single animal and they're just standing there, like it's kind of like people just standing there staring at the, at the, the camera. It's not as effective as if it's in its natural environment, and so, or like like one of the most famous photos that I can think of was um, Tom Angleson. He won numerous numerous awards for catching. He he caught a a bear, and the fish was like right exactly at the perfect moment with the with the bear with his mouth open, and it was great. So, a lot of time it's just the luck of the draw in that situation like that. We'll be introducing these pieces uh, one at a time. These are from the top 10 artists and uh, we'll, in no special order. I'm just gonna give you all uh, 10 of them here. Um, this is one by uh, Steve Edwards um, and it's called Happy Hosta. And why wouldn't it be happy? Why wouldn't it be happy? It's a real beauty. This piece is by uh, artist photographer Jeff McDonald of Whitewater and it's uh, uh, Timanchi and Totem and it's in uh, Monument Valley, Colorado and uh, I, he told me that he'd hired a guide to go out with him and, and spend the day and he said great but the one place I've got to go is this place and uh, he, he captured a beautiful piece. You can see the depth going from front to back and the the movement of the, the sand waves, and then of course the, the gorgeous uh, stone structures in the back. A beautiful piece by Jeff. This is a piece by um, um, Steve Edwards. Uh, Steve, by the way, is, uh, is a three-peat winner. The last three years he's gotten first place in our photo show. And this is something very different from him. We're used to seeing black and white and, and landscapes and so forth. And this is called looking glass. A great color and it's printed on metal so these colors really pop. It's a gorgeous piece. Very different graphics from Steve Edwards. I never thought I'd see it. This is a piece by Jeff McDonald in his Port Betsy shoreline. With the fog coming in and the skies with the haze and the colors, uh, you, can just, you can just feel great abstract uh, feel to the whole thing. This is a piece by Jack Long and uh, it's a terrific piece. And the big mystery is how he does this. It's an, it appears to be a real stop action shot and uh, Great colors, look at the contrast and the lighting in the back and forward. It's just a gorgeous piece with wonderful colors. This is a piece of Jack Long's, it's one of the stop action shots uh, it appears to be, but uh, that he's become quite noted for. This one's called Platinum Mist. Great colors, great composition. He really captured it, it's wonderful. Next one for you is a piece done by Jennifer Pulaski. A little different than what we've seen from Jennifer in the past. This is called Spoons, and it's the, the musical uh, staff on, uh, on Three Spoons. It's a really creative piece and fun. I like this one a lot. Uh, this next beauty, this, uh, this leopard by Bernard Johnson. Bernie Johnson, it's, it's a terrific piece. Um, and it's, it was shot in Kruger Park. And this is his first time entering our show. And he's getting a, one of the top 10 artist awards. 
The next one is, uh, is a picture by, uh, let's see, this would be Steve Edwards. Um, and this is called Winter Thaw. And it's the picture of the waterfall splashing over. And it's got great composition, different textures, beautiful piece. I'm happy to announce the third place winner for the 2021 Bloy Art Center juried photo contest. This is from photographer Steve Edwards and the name of this piece is Looking Glass. Steve Edwards has actually won three times first place in the last three years so this year he's coming back to win third place. That's a, that's a pretty big accomplishment. Now this piece here uh, is very different and uh, as, a, as a judge, what I liked about it was the fact that he was, he was being creative to create a composition that, uh, that really, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily obvious. He had to look for it. He saw it in his mind's eye, I'm sure, and he went for it with the camera. And uh, uh, I, you know, I enjoy the colors. I enjoy the competition, or the composition, rather. And, uh, and congratulations, Steve. It's a nice piece. Thank you. This is the, the third place uh, winner, Steve Edwards, and we chose this one because it was a, a beautiful abstract. The color really pops on this one. It was printed on metal, and that really accentuates the color. And, you know, we just thought that it was very creative because it's not something that a photographer would normally think about doing with a, an abstract. And so we thought it had a lot. It scored high, uh, definitely 50% of the category in, in creativity. Hi, that takes us to our second place winner, Jeff McDonald from Whitewater with Daivichi. This is a classic desert landscape image in black and white. And I think as uh, has been noted before, we really like our black and whites. And uh, the image that we see here, it pops out because there's so much texture. Uh, there's texture in the sand, there's texture in the, uh, in the, in the rocks. And if the sky is, is nice and smooth there, uh, it's, a, it's a great piece. It's definitely a piece I'd love to have above my couch in the living room. Congratulations, Jeff. Thanks for entering. Okay, this is the number two uh, winner. And this was done by Jeff McDonald. And he is, he, he's very masterful in his techniques. He did an excellent job here shooting this landscape. The thing that, that I personally really liked about it is it had a lot of texture with the tumbleweed there growing. And it was in it was just impeccable as far as the technical on this one. And we like the, with black and white, it, you know, you have to have a lot of contrast in it. So we really, really enjoyed this landscape. Thank you for watching the video tonight of the, the 2021 Beloit Art Center photo contest. We appreciate that you stuck with us throughout the pandemic. And we invite you to come down here and see these images yourself during the month of March right here at the Beloit Art Center in Beloit, Wisconsin. We had a lot of great entries from artists all over Wisconsin and some from, uh, from Illinois as well. And we thank everybody for, again, for entering the contest. Uh, I'm about to announce the first place winner of the contest this year. And it's kind of interesting, a couple comments that I, that I want to share about this piece is is the piece itself is, is unique. And we have seen entries from this artist in, in previous years. And I'm always amazed at how he goes about capturing these images and the amount of, uh, at least from, from my opinion, the work that he must have to go through. And I'll bet he shoots thousands of images to get the right images, to write the right image for the show that he's gonna enter. Uh, that takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of, creativity, it takes a lot of fiddling, and, and I, I'm going to recognize at this point in time the, uh, uh, the artist from Grafton, Wisconsin. His name is Jack Long, and the name of Jack's piece is Teal Shimmer. I'll show it to you at this time. This is Teal Shimmer, and I'm sure this will be up on the screen here for the video as well. Uh, so this is, this is your, your, your classic stop action type of shot where he's obviously dropping something into the liquid in order to create splashes and then capturing it at the right time. 
And that in itself is, is not exactly unique, but what is unique about this particular piece is the, the way he's able to bring these colors in there. Uh, different colors, it looks like he's using different liquids um, to, and, and, and it's getting the colors to uh, shine off and interact with those liquids in the appropriate way. So a uh, big congratulations to Jack Long for being the winner this year. Uh, bravo, nice work. Thank you again. This is the first place winner, and this is by Jack Long. Uh, he is a very accomplished photographer. He, this is one of his specialties here, is doing this uh, high-speed kind of uh, photography. And we liked his use of colors and the contrast and the clarity. Technically, it's just excellent. And it has a movement, and we just thought that it really, he really did a great job on this one, and he deserved first place. Hi, my name is Jay Milkey. I'm one of the judges for the Beloit Art Center, the uh, 2021 photo competition. I, I want to thank everybody for watching the video and for all of the people that have entered the contest this year. We really appreciate that you're continuing to support the Beloit Art Center with this contest. Uh, Obviously, we did not know what this was going to look like this year with, uh, with all the, uh, obviously, the, the current paradigm with, with the pandemic out there. Uh, we didn't know, would, would anybody still be interested in, in this kind of contest? And I think overwhelmingly, the answer is yes. We have received such great entries this year. And one thing that really would kind of impress me was that there was a, a lot of creativity that was going on in, in some of these entries. There is a lot of experimentation that I noticed. For example, I saw people uh, doing things like uh, symmetrical work in maybe Photoshop or to, uh, to create some really, I think, interesting artistic pieces. So I think we're pretty fortunate to have such a diverse approach to the entries in this contest. And I think that uh, if you do come down to the Boyd Art Center and you take a look at all these images that are on the wall for the next month, uh, I think you'll see that diversity at display here, and uh, I'm really proud to be able to be associated with that. Uh, as I said, my name uh, is Jay Milkey. I've been a judge here for, uh, for several years now uh, in this contest, and I think this year uh, the, uh, the pieces are, are definitely unique.